Afterlife is a really interesting song. It's just a really adventurous song, probably one of the longer tracks on this record. We were all frantically writing, trying to come up with the best stuff, and Jimmy was actually kind of AWOL for a little while, and we were really trying to get him to come in and write and stuff. Just a spoonful of Jimmy helps the whole world down. He came one day and said, I have a song for you guys. Little did we know, he had this full song that he'd been, you know, hoarded away in his house writing, and we heard it and we just flipped out. He just really stepped up to the plate, and typical The Rev fashion, the chorus is extremely catchy. It has a pop element, but in a more, like, somber tone. Lyric-wise, it's really a cool concept because you can apply it to, you know, your own life and relationships and stuff, but that's not what it's intended for. The actual storyline is about a person that finds himself in the afterlife and they realize they have too much stuff left on Earth to do, and to go back and make it right, you know, they have to escape from their afterlife so they can go back and make amends with the people they love and care about. Imagine if there is a heaven and you're a crappy person in real life and you, and you show up and all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, I was a crappy person. That's kind of the hell of, of dying too early and, and it's kind of just saying, you know, be a better person now. You know, I have family and friends and I don't want to make the same mistake again. And in this instance, it looks like the person's going to get a shot, a second shot. And all of a sudden these laughs come from wherever the Rev did those. Can you try to track them more like defined laughs like that are uh, not so distorted. You know, he just went in there and started laughing. He was laughing so hard and he wasn't even, nothing was funny. He was just laughing and I was laughing my ass off in the control room just because it just seemed so funny to me that, that he was doing laugh tracks over and over and over. <laughs> Dude, you're a fucking genius, dude. To throw that in this song is the fucking best thing I've ever heard. Yeah. During the demoing of the song, we had a, a strings on the keyboard that we were playing, and we eventually got to have Mark Mann come in. One of the great things about Avenged Sevenfold, the guys, is that they're brave enough to try new things. They're also confident enough to know that their songs and their musicianship are just so great that they allow someone to come in and... and and arrange things or add things and that's a great honor I mean it's 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 trust and uh, that was really cool to work with him he came in and did all the string parts that we wanted to have an intro and then slam into our traditional event sevenfold duels since solos out of control we had uh, the string players and we were playing through the song and it comes to the guitar solo and, and Brian's guitar solo is just blistering and uh, Miles the bass player was just listening on his headphones and he just had to turn around and look at the control room and just with the biggest grin and when that take was done he just came out with my god that's the greatest guitar solo I think I've ever heard Solo in Afterlife was definitely a trek. It wasn't really written before the studio. I try and get as many solos written before I get in the studio as possible. It just creates a better vibe that way. And from what I gathered, the Rev wanted something ridiculously crazy. Uh, on Afterlife, all the guitar work that's in does on the album uh, is just mind-boggling, you know? Oh, yeah, the force. And it's a good look for you, too. Fuck! Let's do it again. Do it again? No, it sucked. Just listen. <laughs> and even though it doesn't necessarily fit the song, it's at I think it's finest. It's definitely the most shredding solo on the album. It's ridiculous. It was fun to definitely push the boundaries. I've done stuff that I never thought I could ever play. It's uh, definitely a great feat as far as I'm concerned. That's just one of 11 examples of amazing fucking guitar solos. That's how that song came about, and we're really proud of it. I think the Rev did an amazing job, and he really came up big on that song, and hell yeah. Hello? Scream one dead. Uh, we're, we're, Fred's fucking with us. <laughs> Some, Fred needs a refresher course. Let's go back to full sale. Oh, Fred didn't like that. All right. Got a little more run up? Got nope. it now. <laughs> 